So you just got your FS22 game and you've been watching all these YouTubers play with all these cool mods and you're wondering how the heck do I get those? Well in this video I'm going to teach you where and how to find Farming Simulator 22 mods and avoid some of the nasty pitfalls that will crash your computer. This tutorial will be for PC only. Sorry console friends. First you're going to need a reputable site to download your mods from. One of my first choices is Mod Network because in the past when I had problems with theft of mod they were super cool about giving me my mod and credit for it. So hats off to them and I support sending you guys to them. While you're browsing through mods, pay attention to the amount of likes, downloads, and the file size of these mods that you're interested in. And these key factors will give you a good idea of whether the mod is hot garbage or not. Because in the realm of farm sim, not all mods are created equal. Some are just ugh. To give you an idea, one of the best mods on Mod Hub right now is only 50 megabytes. So be careful when downloading high file size mods. Obviously maps are going to be drastically bigger, but a truck shouldn't be a large file size. When you download your mod it should be zipped up so that means all we have to do is locate our mods folder and copy and paste that zip file into our mods folder now this next part isn't mandatory but I highly suggest you do it and that is activate your dev controls so you can access your log in game and view if this mod is any good or not because what happens downloading mods you throw all these mods into your game and then your game doesn't start or certain things are broke or certain things don't work this is why we should check every single mod you put into your game later on it's a needle in the haste Tab. To activate our dev controls, we're going to locate the game.xml file. Development controls need to be set to true at the bottom of the file, and then hit save and close this file. So with our zipped mod in our mods folder, all we have to do is start the game up. Next, we'll just scroll through and pick our mod at the mod selection phase. If your dev controls are enabled, you can hit the tilde key right before you hit start, and you'll be able to witness all the errors, if any, come about from this new mod. If this is a vehicle mod, also at the purchase screen, when we very first click on it, if we have the tilde key enabled, we can see any errors that may pop up. If you don't see any red or yellow lines pop up on your log when you go to use the mod, then I'd play around with it for 15 or 20 minutes doing the normal tasks that you would with it. Just make sure you enjoy it. You now have the peace of mind in the future if your game starts messing up that it's not this mod. If you do this for every mod, you won't run into these errors that a lot of people have. Seriously, who wants to lose their save game? If you end up finding a modder that you really enjoy, I recommend finding out where his home base is, where he posts normal, so you can get the most up-to-date and current versions of his mod and not some outsourced bot uploaded version. This has pushed many modders over the years to go underground. Moral of the story is there's lots of places to get mods, but are they good mods? And using these steps that I outlined in this video, I do think you will be just fine. Maybe you're tired of people's garbage and you just want to make your own mod. Well, check out this video where I walk you through how to make your own mod. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one.